Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about a new feature in C++11. It's called user-defined literals. What are literals? Literals are constants. And C++ has four kinds of literals. Integer literal, such as 45. Floating point literals, such as 4.5. Character literal, such as Z. And string literal, such as dog. A literal can have a suffix to specify exact type of the literal. So 45 means the type is int. 45u means it's unsigned int. 45l means it is long. And the user-defined literals are, allows us to define our own suffix so that this whole thing can be treated as new type of literal. Why do we want to do that? Let's look at an example. Say we are using the old C++ standard and we want to define a variable height which is of the type of long double and we set height equal to 3.4. What does this mean? 3.4 meters, 3.4 centimeters or 3.4 inches? We don't know. This is one of the things that make our code write only. Only the writer of the code understand what the code is doing. If you are going to work on this project for a long time, somebody might be nice enough to tell you that they always use meters for heights and they always use kilohertz for frequencies, so on and so forth. Otherwise, if you are not the usual author of the code, then you have to fumble around thousands of lines of code and to figure out what the units are, and wish yourself a good luck of that. So this is not a nice way of writing clean code. But we have been doing this for a long time. We just wish all the developers will stick to the convention and always use the same units for the same kinds of values. But unfortunately, people does mess up with the units. So ideally, we should have something like this. Height equal to 3.4 centimeters. Ratio equal to 3.4 centimeters divided by 2.1 millimeters. And since 3.4 and 2.1 has have different uh, units, Unit translation is required. So we translate 3.4 from centimeter to millimeter and then divide by 2.1. So this is how the code should be look like ideally. However, C++ doesn't support this kind of syntax. And even if C++ does support this kind of syntax, some people may not like it because the unit translation means runtime cost. And they don't like runtime cost. They prefer to use their brain to do the job for the machine. And they have good reason for doing that, especially when the unit translation needs to happen many, many times during the program execution. To solve this problem, C++11 provides the new feature of user-defined literals. Let's look at some examples. Here I have used the user-defined literals to define the unit of uh, centimeter, meter, and millimeter. Operator quote quote means this is the declaration of user-defined literals. Underscore cm is the identifier, the suffix. It takes a long double x as a parameter and then multiply x by 10 and then return the result as a long double. For underscore m, which means meter, x is multiplied by 1000. For millimeter, x is returned as is. So the final unit is millimeter. Both centimeter and meter will be translated into millimeter. In the main function, I define height equal to 3.4 underscore cm, which means it is 3.4 centimeter. And then I print out the height. Let's run the program. 
it print out 34. So the centimeter value is translated into millimeter value. Now let's say I print out something else. I print out height plus 13 underscore M. And let's see what happened. It prints out 13,034. Since the unit of the 13 is a meter, so 13 needs to multiply it by 1,000, and then plus the height, the result is 13,034. Now let's print out something else. Let's print out 130 millimeters divided by 13 meters. And let's run the program. It prints out 0 0.01. So this is how the user-defined literals work. By using user-defined literals, we provide a convenient way to specify the units. However, we haven't solved all the problem yet. The unit translation still happens at runtime. They still demand runtime cost. So to minimize the runtime impact, all we need to do is make this function a constant expression. Since all these functions take literals as input parameter, we can safely assume that all these calculation can be performed at compile time. So let's run the program again. The result is the same. However, now all the unit translation are done by the compiler, so they won't cost anything during the runtime. Let's look at a second example. Here I have defined a user-defined literal which converts a string representation of a binary number uh, into an integer. Note that this user-defined literal takes two parameters first one is a string, a const char pointer, and second one is size. Note that C++11 only allows a handful of data type which can be used as parameter of the user-defined literals. With the char pointer and the size, I can calculate the value of the binary number and return it. In the main function, I um, print out 110 binary number and 1100110 and lastly a pretty big number and let's run the program so 110 is 6 and the second one is 102 and the last one is a pretty big number so the importance of the user defined literal is that C++ went a long way to make user defined types the classes to behave same as the built-in types. And the user-defined literals push this effort even further. It makes the user-defined literals to behave same as the built-in literals. So this is more than just a syntactic sugar. The last thing I want to point out is the user-defined literals has some restriction on the input parameter types. The input parameter can only be one of the following types. I have shown you an example that takes a long double parameter and another example that takes a char const pointer and a size parameters. But the return value can be of any type. That's all for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so when I post a new video you will be updated or you can go to my channel's homepage and see what I'm offering today. Bye-bye.